Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing great. Right now I'm in my shed in my backyard that I built to kind of do little projects in. And I've got my Stratocaster here. And this right here is a little loose right here. And so I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily adjust your peg here so that it's not going to be loose any longer. What you don't want to do is just put a bigger screw in there. So like if you've stripped out where the the screw is at you might think oh, i'm going to just take out this screw and put a bigger screw in you're going to really mess up your guitar and what ends up happening is that bigger one is just going to get stripped out again so here's a little tip um, on how to do that with a toothpick and maybe even a little bit of glue but you don't even need the glue you can just use a toothpick here you go all right well hopefully you can see this little guy here okay um it's kind of coming loose you can see it it's kind of wiggling like that um, and so all you do go ahead and take it out with a screwdriver and you can see right there that looks like before i got this guitar someone had tried to try to glue that or something in uh, glue the peg in there not very good job there but let me show you what to do what we're going to do is just take a toothpick just like this and stick it in there okay and then break it off at the end now what you're doing is you could right now just go ahead and screw this right back in and what happens now is there's enough real wood for the the teeth of the screw for those threads to bite into Okay. Now the best way to really do this is to put some toothpicks in there, glue them in there, re-drill a hole, and then do this. But this is kind of like the uh, the easier version, but it actually works really well. So I'm gonna tighten down there. I'm actually putting a decent amount of torque there. I don't want to strip it again, but that is really, really solid there, just like that. So, so if you've got a guitar and it's got a stripped peg right there where it's holding on the strap, pretty easy solution. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. It's pretty easy, easy to fix, and uh, will save you a trip from going to someone else and paying them probably $50 to do the exact same thing.